In today's society, we consume a vast amount of clothing. We buy cheap garments in big brand stores, use it a few times and then get something new. But historically speaking, fabrics and therefore garments were something expensive. Just imagine the sheer amount of time it would take to spin all the thread needed for a few meters of fabric. Add to that the time it would take to weave the fabric and then to sew the garment itself. This is the shift I use with my 1360s medieval dress. As you can tell, I have been using it quite a lot during the past six years or so. Common people during the Viking or medieval times would most likely only have owned one or two outfits that they used for years. But clothes get worn and torn, so mending your clothes was considered normal and necessary. A common way to mend a garment during the Middle Ages would be to place a patch over the hole in the fabric. This could be done to both undergarments in linen, such as this, or to outer garments made from wool. The first step is to cut out a piece of fabric that is large enough to cover the tear in the garment and also reach the point where the fabric in the garment is still fairly sturdy, otherwise it might tear again at the new seam. Secondly, you need to fold in the edges of your patch. I'm folding about half a centimeter or quarter of an inch. If you're working with linen, you can press the edge of the fold with your fingers. It will create a crease and stay that way. This makes for easier pinning later. Once you have folded all your edges, you can decide on the placement of your patch. I am feeling the garment to see where the fabric is strong enough to endure the strain from the new seam, whilst also covering as many tears as possible. Pin the patch in place around the edges. Try to make sure that your garment lays flat as you do this, so that the patch will not alter the shape of the garment. Here I am trying to use the existing seams to my advantage. They are more sturdy than the rest of the garment and will therefore be a strategic place for me to attach the patch. Pin all the way around before you start sewing. Otherwise, chances are that your patch will end up skewed. I'm cutting away a piece of my patch to match the shape of the neckline and folding in the edge here as well. I am sewing my patch with waxed linen thread using a felling stitch. On a side note, I would really recommend that you use unbleached linen rather than white linen when you're making undergarments for Viking Age or medieval outfits, unless you're portraying a particularly wealthy person. The white linen will get discolored as time goes by due to the pigments from the outer garments rubbing off or stains from food, etc. Also, it gets see-through when wet which is not that practical if you want to cool off during a warm summer's day. This shift has been in need of repair for quite some time. I added seven new patches to it, which makes 19 in total. Now it is ready for several more years of adventures. No doubt accumulating a few more patches along the way. I wish you all the best on your mending endeavors. I do love when you can tell that a person has used and care for a garment for a long time. It feels so much more authentic somehow. And don't forget, piecing and mending is period. <laughs>